Yeah, hey, we got three masters though. That's good at least. At least it's not a full Papega game. Prepare yourselves for battle, heroes. You're ready for the killing? Never doubt my skill. The battle begins in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Two arms. Kind of annoying because. I think that was my ETC slide. He doesn't have slide anymore. Bible thumps. Anyways, I don't really care about any of this. We finally see our primary cause of for life, the minion wave. I killed the minion wave. After I killed the minion wave, I go look for another minion wave. I find another minion wave. I killed this one too. Second minion wave killed. Onwards to find more minion waves. He went all in and not lost every single one. Five of thumbs, dude. You hate to see that. Another minion wave bites the dust. Oh, another minion wave bites the dust. Onto the, onto the, onto another one. Another minion wave bites the dust. Another minion with Basha does. You know what comes after that? More minion waves, baby! I know it's crazy, but it's happening. I should do Marynx. I was like, I feel like they're ganking me. It's like 20 people missing. <laughs> nice three man gank, bro. Kappa! I smelled it a mile away. Nice, uh, nice one. Easy sidesteps, baby. Back to farming minions. Listen, I'm a pacifist Zul. I don't fight heroes unless they pick a fight with me first, you know? We're like Superman or something. I have no idea what I just said. You know what I mean though? You know what I mean. Listen, I'm a, I'm a pacifist. I'm just out here clearing minions. I only fight back if they fight me. You force shrine, I can... Another minion wave bites the dust. Another minion wave bites the dust. Choose a talent. But yeah. So this is a uh, this is Zul guys. This is uh this is how you play Zul. You know, yeah. 
clear the minion wave. And you clear the other one. And you clear the other one. This is pretty much all there is to it. There's not much more. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you click E on a hero if they're close enough. Other than that, you just keep doing this. Here's your Zul. That's another day. Very difficult hero. Much, um, uh, much expertise required in the art of clicking minions. You don't get to where I got to in a day, okay? Might take you years of learning how to click minions before you get this good at clicking minions. Oh, he yeah, had up. See you there. Because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes if you see someone F up that bad, you just click E and kill them. And I'm back to clicking minions. Merc camps? Yeah, if you have time to click merc camps, you can click merc camps. It's like a time thing. Minions are the priority. Right now, I don't really feel like I have the time to click the merc camps, so I'm not doing it. But um, yeah, if I feel like I have time, I'll do it. I want to cancel that recall, but whatever. Minions are more important. Doing, doing. What the heck? I don't think he's used to playing in Zul. All right. Hmm. All right. Here, I feel like I have an opening to finally click some minions, so I'll go ahead and do that. Why not? So it's pretty good at doing minions too, after you get the CDR. So you hit all three of them at the same time. It's pretty nice. VP <laughs> down, baby! So I stood. Don't worry guys, you guys are fine, they don't have VP. I'm just gonna keep killing minions, have fun down there. He's, he's not even full HP, so they should be fine, even though technically it's like a 4v5. Like, they're so low on resources, I feel pretty comfortable leaving. Should do camps. Ah, I was eyeing that. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, the five man collapse, dude. If I didn't get hit by that stun, I think I could have killed all four of them. Because I have attack speed and healing. I'm really sad I got hit by that Toronto stun. If, if I did not get hit stunned there, I actually think I can kill all four of them. They were so clumped. I would have gotten four man W healing the entire time. It was actually all five of them, because the Zeratul was here, and there's four of them here. I mean, I, I, there's no way I could have killed Zeratul, but I, I think I can actually kill all four of the ones here if I didn't get hit by that stun. It's unlucky.
Claim the shrine. Show its guardians your resolve. I kind of see what there to us. I think they're just gonna 5v4 the shrine. Uh oh. Yeah, they are. Uh oh. No, they're so low HP. Watch. That sucks. Unlucky. I should have warned them. Uh oh, so obvious they were gonna try to 5v4 the shrine. I'm surprised the UTC died that fast though. Still getting value top, but it's unfortunate. Pretty good Mephisto damage there. Yeah, I should have just stayed on my mission. Honestly, if I just kept clearing mid top, mid top, they would be so far behind right now. That would have been better. But I wasn't sure. I wasn't like a hundred percent sure if Zerato was here. I thought he was, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Unlike the ten percent chance he's not here, then we get a free five v four, and they would all die on the shrine. Oh my god, that was a raw ring and two of them ran into it. Monka Giga. Alright, whatever. Back to AFK minions. Losing track of the mission. Killing minions. Killing minions. I shouldn't have lost track of the mission, you right, Perry. Is Zul good for climbing? If you're in like plat or under, he's probably pretty good. Because people don't soak, so if you just soak everything. You're just gonna get way you're gonna get way more XP than the other team. People don't soak in that territory. Diamond and under might work too. It's very possible that also works. Did I read this? Oh no, I haven't. Hold on, Asian. I'll give me a sec. I have a Muradin game with Bronze Beard, Rage, Perfect Storm, Sledgehammer. Um, yeah, sure. Next time I can pick a tank, I'm always down. Sure. Uh, messed up the vector targeting there. I only got two. That's kind of Dan's game. <laughs> Green Tiger missed everything deep. Ah, that's not... <coughs> not enough though. Unlucky. There goes our team. Viable thumps. We tried. Stutter stepping cancels your W speed? Yeah, I know. A any kind of movement in general will reduce your damage output for fast attacking heroes. But, if I don't move there, I eat all of Jaina's damage and I'll die like way faster. So, kind of have to move there. Team's throwing? Yeah, it's not really surprising. Teams always throw. It is time. Defeat 
My kid that net, dude. He just netted nothing. Oh my god. I've seen him net nothing like four times now, actually. Is that quick cast or something? You hate to see it. I mean, this is what happens, though. We're playing against a stack. It was like... It was like... Not favored from the start. It's just they made obscenely bad plays. That's how we got ahead. Like, I killed so many people early game by myself. It was insane. They're all alone too. It's just so sad that he's just allowed to do this. <laughs> Look at these Papegas, dude. This is the third guillotine game you've seen. Yeah, I don't know why, but pubs have this mentality where like they always pick the one that's worse. They always pick the ulti that's worse, and then it gets more and more popular until no one picks the ulti that's actually good anymore. Y'all, doo doo, by the way. These guys are so bad, man. It's unlucky. Liam, bro. I solo killed you three times, man. Ugh, sad life. What can you do, though? The solo key life. We shall strike back. MVP. Show XP? Uh, here you go. Is Liam? Yeah. Only Liam goes this weird build, dude. He, he goes move on scene at one. It's like not terrible. Okay, it's not terrible, but like, I'm certain it's not good either. Or not as good as just the standard Q. But he really likes it. It's weird. I think that could be the